In previous episodes we've learned how to get the proper broadcast safe contrast, how to correct skin tone and how to white balance and fix color casts. If you have missed them, be sure to check the previous episodes from the links in the description below. So you've color corrected your clip, gave it a beautiful natural look with just the right amount of contrast and saturation. Then you try to apply the grade to the other clips from that shoot to discover that the exposure is out of whack, the saturation is off and you have all sorts of issues with color casts. Unfortunately, one color grade won't fit them all. I wish it would. While for most of the time applying one grade across multiple clips will work, given there are no major lighting and exposure changes, there are those times that each clip might need minor tweaks to give the whole shoot a common color correction denominator. We've touched on color correcting using a reference photo in the saturation lesson. Seeing a reference side by side to our grading will quickly reveal what adjustments we need to make. Likewise, we can save the current node structure and store it as a still in the gallery. Once you're happy with the result, simply right click on the viewer and select grab still. This will store your node structure with the color correction adjustments in a still visible in the gallery. Now you can use this saved still to apply the grade to other clips and use it as a reference to fine-tune the look. To apply the saved still to a clip, simply select the still in the gallery, right-click and select Apply Grade. The saved node structure and adjustments will be applied to your clip. You can also copy grades in a currently selected clip by middle mouse clicking on a clip thumbnail in the strip from where we want to copy the grade. Once you've applied a grade from a reference still in the gallery, you can then play the still and use the image wipe to display them both in the viewer. Then you can drag the middle split line to reposition the split. This way you can keep adjusting the current clip until it matches the reference. Don't forget to use the scopes which will also display the two sides. This is useful to see how the luminance and RGB channels line up against each other. You can also customize the image wipe format from the controls at the top of the viewer. Likewise, you can have the full size clip and reference side by side when you choose split screen with the selected still images option. Again, the scopes will reflect the split screen as well which makes it extremely helpful to compare the two. While in split screen mode, you can also choose neighbor clips to display three clips that are neighboring the currently selected clip. The current one is displayed at the lower left corner with the previous two at the top and the following one at the bottom right. This is a great option to check for inconsistencies as you navigate throughout the clips on your timeline. Another way to check for consistency is to have an amount of selected clips in the viewer and check to see how the clips pair as a whole look. Hold down Ctrl or Command and click on the desired clips you want to display. You can have up to 16 clips selected. Then select a clip in the viewer you want to work with and fine tune the look. The light box is a grid thumbnail view representation of all the clips on the current timeline. This is the ultimate bird's eye view of your entire shoot where you can evaluate the overall look. You can also make color adjustments on the selected clip by revealing the color controls from the menu at the top. In all these options, remember to use your artistic judgment and consult the scopes when you're in doubt. The scopes will always reveal what needs to be fixed in your shot. Remember that as with everything, the more you practice, the better you become as your eyes start to be trained and recognize the problem clips in a shoot. In our next tutorial, we'll be looking into how to export our footage to preserve the integrity of our grade and have a high quality clip with an efficient file size and compression ready to upload to Stocksy. See you in the next lesson.